Tonight, we're having dinner at Coronado Springs. But we had to go to Grand Destino first. Time for some Disney food. So we are in Grand Destino. That's not where we're eating. I've never been here. Oh, really? It's beautiful. Hidden Mickey's on the elevator. Hey, how does it? There's no buttons. <laughs> you push it outside. It's the new system. So you click where you want to go, and then it'll say go in letter A. That's cool. And then you never have to worry about it. So we have to go this way. So we've crossed over to, Cont I keep saying contemporary, we've crossed over to Coronado Springs. This is the new seating area, which used to be the lobby of the resort. Oh, pretty. Makes a Mickey. That's cool. Well, the lights make a Mickey. And of course there's Panchitos, and then there's restaurants over here. So we're on a mission because now we have to cross the bridge to get here to our food. All right, let's take a look. So you have Grand Destino here, Coronado Springs here, and there, and we're going on the bridge to that restaurant three bridges. It's cause three bridges connect to it. Chris saw this on TikTok, so we're going to try some food out. We'll see how it goes. Whoa, Parker, what are you doing? What an explorer. Hi. We are inside of the ancient artifact pot. Yay, the ancient artifact pot. I don't know what to call it. It's like a tiki. <laughs> We're in the tiki 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 room in the tiki 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 room. You watch that show with Dada. <laughs> So busy. I think this is the only resort that the playground area is open. The pool's open as well, but the arcade's shut. Oh look, there's like a little artifact on the floor too, like a little tribal. I'm gonna take Parker down the slide. Okay. Parker, are you going down the slide? So it is nighttime out, but there's this really, really, really cool playground. We've never stayed at Coronado Springs before. There's a giant spider up there. This is right next to the pool area. It is super cool. Oh, hold on, I wanna see you go down the slide. And there's a playground over there for little ones, but let's go see what they're doing. They're going into the cavern, it looks like. Bye, see you soon. And they're gonna come down the mouth of this. Let's see. Hello up there. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What do you think of that? You survived the mouth of the snake. They also have um, paddle ball over here and things like that, which I don't think that some of that's working, but look at these two goons. And then that is where the pool and the water slide and all that is. How was the slide? Awesome. 
Parker's ready for dinner. <laughs> so here we are. I feel like we're on Jungle Run for any of my British friends. Oh no, we're in jail. Oh no. Let's go. <laughs> What's Jungle Run? Uneducated Americans. Yes! Go! What do you think? <laughs> That's the only struggle is getting out. <laughs> So I want to show you, this is giving me Legends of the Hidden Temple vibes. Got the jail here. As you come up, spider! And then as you're going, look at this. Doesn't this give you vibes like you're on an old Nickelodeon game show? You're in the temple. And then all of a sudden, there's this, which is the slide. And it's fast. Whoa. And there they are. Whoa, look at this mouth. So outside Villa del Lago, they've tied in the restaurant to Grandestino because they have these like metal dandelions. Because you've, you've been in Grandestino, a lot of it is around Salvador Dali and some of his artwork. And the dandelions played a huge piece. So there's all these flowers and it looks like when the wind is going that they're all movable. Beautiful, but we did have to place a mobile order in order to eat here. Um, we actually found the menu on TikTok randomly. So this is where we're eating tonight. There's all sorts of stuff. So you can also sit at the restaurant, but there was a two hour wait for that tonight. So we got mobile order and we're gonna take it to the main place to go. All right, what did you get? I got a burger with paprika fries and it's got garlic aioli, cheese and potatoes and some arugula and a tomato. And a side of paprika tomato aioli, mm. whatever that means. I got the chicken sliders. Look how good they look with the paprika fries and the side of aioli. And we got something for Parker to try. It's hummus and carrots and naan bread. But he now also has- my tomato. Oh, you eating the tomato? Is it good tomato? Worth the wait? All right, Chris. First of all, I want to hear how your burger is. Mm. Worth the wait? How's the aioli dipping sauce? It's really good. I think the fries would have been better if they were fresh in the restaurant. I think having them in a takeout carrier makes them a bit soggy and cold. But the burger is really great. Really Ooh. juicy, full of flavor. Much better actually than deluxe burger. And I didn't expect that. Uh-oh, fighting words. All right, let's try mine. All right, so first I'm going to try the paprika fry. Hmm, it's interesting. It's paprika, so it doesn't really have a taste in my opinion. But let's try the dipping sauce. Mmm, that I like. That's a good combination. And now for... <laughs> what do you got? And now for the crispy chicken... Look at this. This is crazy. All right, let's try it. I don't even know what's on this. This is wild.
This will love your face. It looks so good. There's so much to it, but it's so good. Let's eat. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm here. So there are the dandelions I was talking about. As a hidden Mickey. It's a coffee bar down here. And there's a fun hidden, not so hidden Mickey, and Walt Disney. It does feel like a cruise ship. Who's that lady over there? She is the secret lady. but it is all inspired by the artwork of Salvador Dali. These are beautiful chairs. All right, Chris, what do you rate your food? Um, I give it six out of 10. Why is that? Because I think if we ate in the restaurant itself and it was fresh and the fries are crispy, it would have been amazing and the, the venue looks beautiful. It would have been a really nice place for dinner. But I think because obviously we had to wait an hour for the mobile food order. And then by the time it came out, it wasn't really that fresh. I give mine eight out of 10 because two points docked because we didn't eat inside. But the food was delicious and spicy. So word to the wise, wait to eat inside. Yes, we're definitely gonna come back and give it another go because TikTok told me those fries are crispy. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, yeah baby. Night. Thanks, Coronado. Like my family.